Good morning, welcome to Nifty Prediction. My name is Narendran. To join your WhatsApp group, I'm charging 500 rupees per month. You will get advanced prediction details as well as calls in the group. If you like my research, if you support my research, you can donate me using this Google Pay and Phone Pay and Paytm. Let's go to the review of uh, Tuesday market. Nifty ended up in the negative 14,296.40. 63.05 points in the negative, 0.44% in the negative, opened around 14,526.70, which is well above the previous closing, but we know it is a volatile day, so it has came down from the high 14,266.95, low around 14,207, but it has recovered a sharp almost 100 points from the low and closed in the range of somewhere around. 14,296.40. Let's go to our prediction review. As per our data, it is kind of an evenly poised day, uh, which clearly is shown. So, which means all three results possible with 33.33% chances. So, we may not clearly predict because the Nifty is having the freedom to go uh, bullish or bearish or flat. So, it is uh, the kind of a day which evenly poised comes so we need to play much more cautiously so we played very cautiously on this particular day and we have an inter of volatile as well because of different, one, different of one point comes means the market of having, having the volatile two and two indicates on the bullish show which it is clearly shown the market as having the chances of going bullish and we know this kind of a day minimum of 0 0.98 percent positive in the positive average it will hit like that we know so pre-opening itself that particular level got it so we plan to exit from the call option uh what we carried on uh, monday so uh, we exited in the pre-opening itself uh, in the market and that after that we bought small kind of put option and according to each and every one risk i asked to keep one particular put option in hand uh, due to the uh, downside target which we are having um, we are already had 14167.71 uh, so and then for 13599 we already saw these two uh, targets so that is the reason because positive side target which we had uh, 14404 it has got it in the pre-opening itself it has even much above that level it has opened which is 15026 it has open and that particular level is got perfectly matched in our data and the bullish level as well the high 14,526 got matched exactly so uh, so our data which is clearly pointed that the pre-opening itself it has after it it will fall down but it took some time so it, it is not fall down quite sharply after reaching that level it took some time it tested each and every one and then only it has slowly fall down and then around 2 to 30 after 2 that it started to fall in heavily rapidly see the high and low which is perfectly matched in our data the high today 14,526 and 14,526 which is perfectly matched in the stop loss range and then lower side is also exactly matched that is where the market has recorded sharply 100 points 14,207 14,2 which means inside the three point perfect range so in the stop loss range 10 points or in the inside three points range uh, perfectly matched means market having the chances to recover that is the reason the market has recovered sharply from that level almost 100 points and still it has closed in the range of negative average of 14,289 near which is 14,002 96 let's go to the group calls what are the calls we given in the group we also know in the evenly poised means we need to play much more cautiously uh, so the 33.33 percent chances of e all bearish bull flat bullish so we clearly explained about this and we know that uh, about this particular day of market even in the early morning itself i have given that tuesday 80 percent chances it will hit the positive average of 0.98 percent so that our data will always uh, having the higher chances of happening so that is the reason we are going with the 80 percent uh, side of range but still it is a volatile market so what we done is that we know the targets of the downside as well as positive side positive side is target very much minimum but downside target we have two target which is huge 
so what we done is we bought it both side and we want to exit because 80 percent chances is there so that is the reason we hold one particular call option as well so it is opened as per the data and this is the call which given at uh, monday around 3 24 because of the positive side 80 percent chances are there so we kept this put option and the uh, call option sorry and the put option which we holding because the downside target is a bit heavy so that is the reason we uh, given the bgst target and uh, sometimes we used to carry forward as well uh, for the high risk traders because they can keep for the entire week itself and uh, what happened is exactly the pre-opening itself after hitting the target so we wanted to exit from that particular call option whenever if the chances are there so 14,300 call option at 14 i mean 915 itself we asked to exit or keep stop loss that is the best way because it will come down rapidly and it has given 9 i mean 109 high and it has reached that particular high but still uh, at that point of time uh, after one or two minutes uh, it has came down a bit around 94 range because high reach at 109 so in in the opening itself whoever gave minimum at least in the pre-opening it's i mean 915 itself if they would have given 90 and above they would have booked profit so roughly 90 to 100 95 to 100 they would have exit and then the call with small put option we given uh to hold uh, for f and closing because the downside target bit heavy so 14,000 put option given as a all kind of uh, traders for intraday traders as well as the uh, uh, high risk traders everybody because the high risk traders will hold for a one week i mean one week means f and closing day and the low risk traders they have to book profit around 20 to 24 or maybe keep stop loss above that level 20 to 24 so it has given a 30 high and exit 30 so intraday traders would have exited somewhere around 30 plus and uh, after reaching 27 plus uh, we exited that particular 14,100 for uh, intraday traders only at the cost of 55 itself uh, but it has traded somewhere around 40 and uh, we used to trial the stop loss so once it is reaching that 55 we asked to exit but full risk traders they can trade as well uh, and uh, the PE also it has went 30 36 but still we kept a stop loss somewhere around 30 for intraday traders but the carry forward for f and closing traders we asked to wait because and that is the way it is we need to take full risk that is the call which given for the full risk as well so full risk taking clients they can hold it for f and closing so that is the method we are following so far so full risk because that is a small risk we we took somewhere around 12 rupees which is going to be less than thousand rupees so that we can able to tolerate in a two days day because the downside target we are having much heavier 13,000 599 which which is very heavier if the market is fall down heavily like that means it will go to 400 so we are investing only 12 uh, points uh, in that particular uh, put option so which means it is tolerable amount only so that is the way it is and the low is matching that is the world it has required so those are all the things which we explained and, and the the market designs itself see high and the low so if we took a chart like that it is showing like a kind of a foot so i felt is that the nifty is uh, landing his foot on the bearish side so that is what that secret is and is telling uh, so in in an uh, kidding way i i'm telling that but sometimes it do happen uh, nifty will extremely go in the bearish manner so so far how much profit we did in this particular small because it is kind of complicated day but still we made some three thousand uh 350 because we don't want to take much bigger risk on this particular day so we played safe and we holding only one put option 14,000 PE for the high risk traders for the F&O closing. Whoever trading for the full risk because that is only a part of 10 rupees to 12 rupees. We don't want to take much high risk. But intraday traders they can exit it at this point of time. And uh, we are holding one more call option 
14,500 because we bought it in between after booking somewhere 90 to 100 we bought it somewhere around 38 rupees it was came down to 20 20 as well so whoever booked profit only we asked to uh, buy one more lot uh, at uh, somewhere around 30 37 to 39 so because uh, we already given the exit at somewhere around uh, the high so only those who booked to profit others uh, strictly we asked to uh, stay away from that particular call because we know the risk because the downside only showing so don't frustrate us uh, go that particular uh, call because only who booked the profit they can invest because we already booked a profit somewhere around 40 to 45 points so taking uh, a small risk in that is fine so that is the uh, reason and uh, we given one more uh, uh, call which in the Kandra bank put option uh, that is also when good uh, which is we given somewhere around uh, 105 uh, to buy the strike price is uh, 115 Kandra bank uh, and it, it it went almost uh, 0.75 high so if the market is falling down heavily it will go much higher as well so I, if by chances i'll show what oh, the kandra kandra bank is 115 p and let's go to the prediction for uh, this is the prediction for Thursday. So Thursday so typically like the same what we saw on Tuesday. One volatile day, one evenly poised, two indicating positive. So it is typically like the same what we saw on uh, to Tuesday. But uh, the differences are, are uh, if anything breaks the support level three, we have three support levels, only three support levels. So if anything breaks the support level three, one point zero one percent, then it will go multiples of it. So 2.02, 2.3.03, 4.04, something like that. It will go multiples of it. So that is the high risk which involved on Thursday. So if it is breaking heavier, then it might go heavily on the downside. So we need to uh, take uh, those in mind as well. So you must have to keep a small P, which is tolerable uh, amount. You need not to uh, trade hugely. You need not to trade over a bot kind of a put option you need to invest as low as possible with your tolerable money so if it is goes wrong you should not worry about it that kind of a put option you need to keep because if anything bizarre uh, bearish happens then you may enjoy that profit so and other or else it might have the chance to fulfill the negative of one particular negative 14,167 it might open beyond that level it will keep somewhere in this low perfectly and then it started to recover and go towards to positive which is bullish level of 0.64 percent so that is also a chance because this kind of day it has a chance to attract the worst to the bullish level which is 91 points in the positive so it might has the possibility to recover but still we know the equation of evenly poised it has all results possible we might we we can't tell that it definitely recovers it has a chance to recover so we need to play cautiously that is the advice so these are all the volatile market how it reacts normally if it is keep the power value it will go to the low which is 174 points if it is not breaking the power value if it is opens the power value and not in the upside if it is not breaking the downside and then it will go to the high which is 300 points on the other hand the volatile market it will trade in between 48 points to 172 points sometimes on the other hand it will entirely fulfill the downside as well as the upside so in between any side it will go up and down so that is the volatile trend scenario so we need to play volatile market with both side options in and that is the best way it is and uh, um, at present uh, uh, yesterday around 8 25 the SGX nifty is fall down somewhere around 127 at this point of time the SGX nifty is somewhere around uh, almost 200 points i saw in the morning so uh, we might have the chance right now it is trading somewhere around 242 points in the downside almost 169 points in the downside so which means for uh, 14,070 is there in the HF nifty so we might have the chances to fall down but it is not sure that it kind of a uh, gap down it low it might open somewhere even 30 negative 30 point 
30 points in the negative or maybe it might open in the 30 points in the positive it might open any levels but it is indicating that downside is very much possible but suddenly the pre-opening of indian uh, nifty is still having the chances to go anywhere so because we have already in wednesday so this is this is not sure how it is going to be it has a probability of possibility to open downside gap down so if this opens who are having put options they will have the chance to book huge profit let's see how the market is going to give us on uh, this specific uh, day and these are all the support and resistance levels i will like i mean uh, these are all the uh, stop loss levels which i would like to show you on thursday uh, the extreme bullish market which it has to open above this level you need to keep stop loss in here 14304 anything opens even a positive uh, pre-opening you need to keep stop loss here for the bullish market so extreme bullish and bullish market stop loss finish the extreme bearish market stop loss we need to anything open below this 14290.68 then you need to keep stop loss uh, 14324 so it is a extreme bearish market because extreme bearish market points is very much less so it has a high probability to happen 5.72 is uh, small points which anything opens in the pre-opening itself then it attracts the extreme bearish so that is the reason uh, it has a good chance to go extremely bearish on that particular thursday but still it is a volatile market we need to play much more cautiously and uh, uh, the bearish market which anything opens even a point negative then you need to keep stop loss in this 14306.40 so uh, that is this normal bearish market and there's high which pending 15375 which is last month pending so normally that's for the testing uh, we never trade for the previous month targets normally it doesn't happen but for the testing how we we want to play cautiously so that we are tracking those but this month pending target will uh, have the chances to highly hit so this month pending target what we have is that 14167.62 and 13599.85 these are all the two pending target which we are having so far uh, it is pending for two to three day this is the third day running and uh, these are all the method which we need to follow for the volatile day volatile day we need to keep both options in hand for example given 10 10 points or you can invest 20 20 30 30 40 40 anything you want up to your risk update but you need to book profit every now and then whenever it is reaching 50 to 100 because volatile market it might easily raise your profit but the bearish is very much high means you need to keep stoppers at least to protect your profit so that is the best method to work on and uh, we still uh, trying to uh, hold the p because of uh, anything goes extremely bearish because our downside is very much heavy 14,000 uh, sorry 13,599 is the pending target so which means our side is heavy so that is the reason we are trying to hold one extra put option so 3 to 315 you must have to wait uh, if anything bizarre happens so you can able to book profit and nifty has the freedom because of the evening poise it has a freedom to go anywhere it wants so we need to play much more cautiously that is the call which i am trying to build each and every time due to volatile market you must have to keep both options in and that is the repeatedly i'm telling you can't trade without holding two options because volatile day it will happen anything so you need to play cautiously and the bearish stop loss as i told in the earlier the bearish stop loss three hits then it will go multiples of it multiple times of it the bearish stop loss we are having 1.01 percent on the support level three so if it is breaking then it will go multiples of it so downside so uh, one percent two percent three percent four percent something like that it will go multiples of it so you need to play cautiously let's see how the market is going to give us on thursday thank you